want to just say Trinity back again being silly for some reason. <laughs> What's on deck? Time for another snow What's on deck? I'm going to split into two videos today to try to make sure they're not super long like usual. Let's start off where we'll do Kickstarter and crowdfunding in this one and the next one I'll do other stuff because other stuff to talk about. First of all, a uh, quick uh, little recap on uh, Indiegogo, Alice in Wonderland playing cards, 0% funded, 14 days to go. I don't understand why. I thought this one was doing better. And split playing cards, which is a typographic deck, is 3% funded, 63 hours to go. Neither one is going to make it at this rate. Um, I'm confused about this one a little bit. I swear. I, I swear that she had more funding in this one and she had some funding. Now there's absolutely no funding. I don't know if she relaunched or what happened, but I don't think it's going to happen anyway. Which is the same because it's a pretty interesting looking deck. Um, then there's. This one is coming tomorrow to Kickstarter, 8 p.m., uh, whatever time that is, <laughs> uh, Central European time, I guess, I'm not sure. See, Aphelion, Aphelion, by the way, means, and the back design is kind of fitting, it is the point in the orbit of a planet asteroid or comet at which it is furthest from the sun. So that's what it means, and that, I guess, would be what that, that design represents. It looks pretty nice, the back design. I don't know if I've seen pictures of the faces or not. Um, from Parama Point Guard, this would have done something else before on Kickstarter. I don't remember what it was, though. Um, oh, yes, they tried this project before, which was only 30 decks. So they're doing this one again with 130 decks. I know they did. Um, I don't remember what that one was though. I knew that wasn't the first project. Anyways, let's get off Facebook. Let's get to Kickstarter. Burger Point Cards by Flamenco is 76% fun and 9 days to go. Could go either way at this rate. This one I'm very excited about. It's the new Nouveau Gems Point Cards by Bonafide Point Cards. It's funded 14 days to go. It's a, a beautiful looking deck of cards. As you can see, beautiful back design. Gorgeous looking. Only 500 being produced, so it's very limited. And only 14 bucks each, 14 euros each. And there's a whole Nouveau series. This is the last one in this series. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. That time, but it's a very nice looking series, nice colors, they all look, they all kind of fit together. This one's got kind of a rider back look to the back design, sort of, somewhat, in the middle there. Um, but, but gorgeous looking as you can see, beautiful artwork, limited, and printed by expert playing cards. Linen, classic finish, embossed tuck case. What monkey that's what it looks very nicely, very nice, nice court cards, nice artwork. There is ooh, stretch gold. But yeah, very nice looking. Definitely worth checking out. Bicycle Human Evolution by Collectible Point Cards is 47% funded, 18 days to go. It's an interesting theme, interesting looking deck. At least it's different. It's not, you know, the. It's not another. Zombie deck or steampunk deck or Cthulhu deck. We've seen way too many of those. Um, it's okay. I don't know if I'm even being sponsored by collectible playing cards anymore. I know, but this can code still works on their website, so go save some money. But I have not gotten anything from them, so I, I'm not even feeling the need to promote them anymore that much. Bicycle Four Seasons Spring Edition from Collectible Cards is 78% funded three days to go. May or may not make it at this rate. Then we got Grace and Gentle Point Cards by Lunzi from TCC Point Cards. 
89% for 27 days ago. This has to be the first product on Kickstarter. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, well, we'll look at it a bit more. Grace and Gentle. 2500 being produced. I've actually not been a huge fan of Lungie's decks from what I've seen. The back design is pretty simple. Very simple as you can see, and there is a, a joker or something. And the court cards are, uh, it looks like they've diced up the pips, and the court cards have been diced up. They're just standard court cards with no faces and pretty much nothing else. They've just been like totally erased. It's just, yeah, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. I've not been a huge fan of a lot of TCC's decks. And apparently, they're selling some of those here. For instance, there you go, the Plume Knife Red Deck. Um, and you can't do that. You're not supposed to resell stuff on Kickstarter. Well, I mean, I guess you can, but it should not be a pledge for the Plume Knife Red Deck. It should be an add-on only. Um, $12 for one deck. No, I'll just, I'd rather just wait and get it later. I get more of these... Silly, this is the Plume Knife deck. I got these weird gaff cards, and I don't like this one at all. Plume Knife written across the faces, that's really stupid. Um, uh, but this one kind of looks like it fits in with the uh. I got Carter's Street Trainer decks. It kind of fits in with the Plume Knife decks almost a little bit. But anyways, I'm not a huge fan. I couldn't really recommend it. I, if anything, I'd get it later on. Golden Age Point Cards by Agitcom. It is funded. 19 days to go. Two decks available. A black one and a white one. A winter edition. Beautiful artwork, as you can see. Definitely worth checking out. Freedom Point Cards by Brian Naratasai. 53% funded. 24 days to go. I don't really see it doing that well, um, as you can tell. Then you have Football All-Stars playing cards. I haven't seen this. It's Tamayu Football, aka okay, Soccer, and playing cards. But Elliot Sharp, it's funded, 25 days to go. Um, and there we go. A, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo uh as the ace of diamonds what the hell is that what kind of a card is that that looks like one big block it doesn't even look like a playing card um hazard <laughs> interesting looking top base interesting looking back design but a one-way back design um pretty interesting looking mm. Not sure uh, I, I like the faces too much. I don't know. I mean, they're okay, but it's just... I don't know. I might be interested in this one. Who's printing it? I don't know. Worldwide shipping, it says. I don't know if that's included or not. Linen Fittis. Featuring over 50 footballs in the best leagues in the world. In La Liga, Premier League, Bordeaux. Bundesliga, Serie A, Liga 1, other, whatever other is, women's leagues, they include four women, I guess that's the Queens, makes sense anyways, if it's not the Queens, that would be stupid, <laughs> and Legends, yes, Pele, Pele definitely needs to be on there, um, yes, <laughs> they made the, the Queens women, it would be weird if they didn't do that, um, just a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty. Too, I don't know what the jokers are or who they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be the referee or something. I don't know. This looks kind of weird. But basically, it looks like pictures on playing cards and no idea who's producing it. I do like the back design though, and I like that the overall idea. 
I'll have to find out more about that if he's producing it. Let's move on. Christaris point guard by Fatuan Nadia Gibson is 64% funded, 14 days to go. May or may not make it. Revela the element point guards, 12 decks by Revelation Workshop is 100% funded, 4 days to go. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, 12 decks with such a low goal is pretty risky. Go cards by Colton Sock is funded, 14 days to go. Opera point guards by Mikel Spatola. 29% funded, three days ago. Not gonna happen, I don't believe. Um, then they got Icer Foil Tuck Point Guards, as I'm pretty sure I mentioned by Doug Fry. Funded, 11 days to go. I really care less about a different Tuck case. Nova Point Guard Deck by Adam Whitfield is 48% funded, 24 days to go. Could go either way, obviously. Uh, very simple court cards. Uh, faces, also very simple back design, you'll see right away. These court cards actually look like very similar to the red wheels and blue wheels decks from Art of Play. Somewhat similar anyways, kind of a similar style. Not a huge fan of them, but it could be worse. Uh, nice aces, though again, I would have preferred it just the ace of spades was special. Sometimes, I, I guess it's fine, but I mean, sometimes it's just, it's nice to have just the ace of spades as being big. The back design is very boring, simple, it's just stripes, diagonal stripes. Um, I like the colors they use on the face. The jokers, the skulls, they just kind of, why? Why are they skulls? They don't seem to fit with anything related to the theme. <laughs> they just happen to be skulls. I do like that they have... Spade and Club in one, and Heart and Diamond in the other, and they match the colors. They could be used as wild cards or whatever. I mean, the back design is, I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. It's very, very simple. Um, apparently, there's a stretch goal for a printed and foiled tuck interior box. And, you know, blah, blah. Um... I got an opinion on that too. And also, why would you want to? Like, I mean, I guess it's okay, but considering the deck is pretty simple, I don't know why you'd want to bother printing the inside of the top case. Printed by Noir Arts, by the way. Another negative point, I guess, sort of, because the printing is not necessarily the best. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not on par with the other companies. Odyssey Point Guards, Boreal Edition by Sergio Roca. Funded, well funded, 10 days to go. Not surprising, all the cardists are buying it. I'm not. <laughs> Could care less. Then we got Don Quixote, Volume 2, Rosinante Point Guards by Cellar Window. 65% funded, 40 days, so lots of time to get this one. Very nice color on the top case and whatnot. Very similar to the other decks in this whole series. I like that, that color on the back design, that kind of reddish color, brownish color, very cool. Nice faces, um, definitely worth checking out. Printed and fulfilled by Legends. The fulfillment part is my issue because I always have issues with Legends fulfillments to Canada. Uh, but at the same time, it's 14 bucks, shipping is included. So no extra for shipping. So that's not a bad deal. Flight Deck 1933 Point Guards by Roman. Paul Roman Martinez. 49% funded. 51 ounce to it. Does not look like it's going to happen this week. Unfortunately. Which kind of sucks because it's a really nice deck. Then we got, again, by Mike Greekdom. IOTA Phi Theta Limited Edition Point Guards. 1% funded. 19 days to go. Horrible color scheme. Horrible one-way back design, horrible shrunken court cards. I, I just don't like it. I can't sit, get behind it. And I don't know why they are bothering to try again. It's ridiculous. How many times did I have to fail? I don't know why some creators have to fail a dozen times before they finally get it through the head. But people don't want their deck. Salutation point cards by David. Sakharov, 17% funded, 7 days to go. Not going to happen at this rate. I think he should 
get rid of one deck, cut the goal in half, and, and get it funded. There's no reason why we need a border and a borderless deck with that bad design. Just do one. Black Rose Point Cards by Daniel Snyder, 63% funded, 29 days to go, just a matter of time, I do believe. This is one actually that I've had some interest in for quite some time, so it's kind of interesting to see it here on Kickstarter. He actually produced this a few years ago uh, via a, I guess it was on Startnext, which is a European version of uh, Kickstarter essentially, a German version I believe it is. Um, nice back design to some roses on there in the center and kind of simple artwork. It's almost funded. This time it's going to be printed by USB-C, I believe it is. Yes, Eric is finished, bicycle stock. You get a double backer and a two of diamonds duplicate. Nice tuck case. Um, what I don't like is the core cards. We'll see why. They have basically modified the face of the court cards with different people. And, I mean, it's not like we haven't seen this before. It's just a little bit tacky. Like, either customize the court cards all the way or why bother? And to make matters worse, the Queen of Diamonds and the King of Clubs are just standard. What, you can find two more people to put in the deck? Are you kidding me? Then, you know, that's the other thing. Why bother customizing and then not customizing all of them? Fulfilled by Art of Play. Um, the only thing I don't like, sort of, is that it was $10 plus $10 shipping. So it's basically, it, it, shipping should not be the same price as the deck, in my opinion. It should be less. But, I mean, pretty nice deck, I guess, overall. And it'll be nice to finally have it. I, I've always been a fan of that back design and wanted to get the original, but I didn't. I don't know if the original had those custom faces or not. Also, maybe they could have modified the color scheme. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it's pretty nice. It's, you know, might be worth checking out. Next up, we got Pokery. Video Poker Point Cards by Juha Lizia. Lizia, 3% funded, 28 days to go. It's going to fund in no time, I'm sure. Yikes. It's an 8 bit deck. Well, one way Joker is Joker all the way along the one side, as if it didn't have enough going on with it. It's uh, very jumbo indexed and a weird one way back design. Apparently it's part of an art project, only two prototypes were ever made, and they decided now we're going to produce it in a large scale. Except that, nobody wants it. Nobody wants this one, uh, obviously. I mean, look at, nobody's backed it yet. You got two backers with a poker deck with a tuck box. So wait, if you pay 150 uh, SEK, whatever that is, it doesn't even tell me what it is. Um, which is Swedish Kronos, I believe. Yes, it's from Sweden. So it's Swedish Kronos. If you pay 150 Swedish Kronos, you get a deck with a tuck box. But on a 310 GSM linen cardstock, with a simplistic black tuck box, ready for serious playing. But if you only pay 120 Swedish Kronos, you get a basic deck. Without the tuck box. Who the fuck would want a deck without a tuck box? I personally do not like it when I have a deck without a tuck box. Because it's incomplete. And I just don't. It's a nice way to get a tuck. See the cards without too big of an investment. It's pretty cool as more for a tuck case. Why would you not get the tuck case? That's just stupid. And it's on a 300 GSM stock instead of 310. Which is even cheaper, it just it makes no sense. And for 50, you get a signature from whoever APN201 is. And again, the back design is just not great. Faces are even worse. Uh, pass. <laughs> Moving on. Double eight poker point cards by D. Rodriguez. 1% funded, 19 days to go. I'm sure it'll fund right away. This one is also horrible. And 
useless in my opinion. The back design just says double A poker on it, mirror image, very simple. The faces are useless garbage in my opinion. I mean, because this is what they did. They made it so each face has two values and suits on it. Why in the hell would you do that? It makes no sense to me. It's not usable. I mean, I guess it could be used uh, uh, some kind of variation of a card game, but most people don't want a silly variation of poker or anything like that. And it just collectors don't want it. I don't want it. Magicians aren't going to use it. Cards don't want it. <laughs> it's not going to fun. Eight thousand euros for this. Eh. Moving on. Modern Warships playing cards by Bioworthy is 73% funded, six days to go. They did get some funding recently from PlayingCards.bet, so if you're on the fence about it, don't back it, hold off, wait. You can either get it from Bioworthy later on in Australia or PlayingCards.net or some other retailer. Personally, I don't see why this is on Kickstarter. It's just pictures on the backs, pictures on the faces, no artwork, no artistic creativity or anything like that. It's just Pictures. Creatures deck of cards by Rana Mahmood. 11% funded, 13 days to go. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that one before. It's not bad, but not going to make it at this rate. Olympus playing cards by Maria. 14% funded, 17 hours to go. Not going to happen. Crazy deck by Organix, aka Natalia Silva. 48% funded, 8 days to go. Most people are not interested in this idea, it would seem. And I don't think it's going to happen at this rate unless he gets a bunch of the retailers to back the project last minute. These are uh, Holly Pinup Gal playing cards by Jim Ballant is funded 11 days ago. I don't know why. Federal 52 Secondism by Jackson Robinson is funded 4 days to go. Very short campaign. Name of the Wind Art Decks. There's like 4 different decks by Elodin. Enterprises is extremely well funded. Over three hundred thousand dollars has to be the best funded point card project, bar none, ever. Nineteen days to go. I would not want to be the fulfillment on that one. That's for sure. Um, is it going to be like? Ah! <laughs> it's going to be thirty thousand decks to fulfill at the time that one's done. <laughs> ah. Tarot deck. Number one from that. Oracles. Um, art decks. Free pokers decks for collectors and gamers. Funded 11 days to go. Advancing as and by Post World Games Jim Pinto. Except that I'm fairly certain this is a relaunch. And, um, don't even bother. If you're a collector, you're not going to want these. They're just horrible one way bat designs. Horrible, bizarre faces, as you can see. There's three different decks. There's this Norse Rubes deck, a Cthulhu deck, with one index, and an art deck with weird back design, as you can see, and even weirder indexless faces. I just, I don't know why anyone would want that. Moving on, Chrome Kings, Players Red Edition. By Handlords is funded for the hours to go. I was not a huge fan of the original. I really don't care for it in red. The faces were not really that great. And plus, if anything, I'll pick it up later on because the shipping is going to be ridiculous on from Handlords. It always is. And. Wow. Ooh. That's going to be it for Kickstarter, so stay tuned. I will get back to you with another video on... Why is this so difficult to follow this? Anyways. Um, oh, there you go. Bear with me a second. There's Madame Clara sees all tarot deck. Second edition. Anyways, that's it for this video. Stay tuned.
We'll be back with some non-Kickstarter stuff and upcoming stuff. Stay tuned. See ya.